So guys, welcome back to I Fix That. So you have a Xerox Work Center 3025. Do you know you can make it chipless? But what does that mean? If you're someone that prints a lot of stuff, you will know that now most new printers will use the chip on the cartridge. And the main purpose of this is to make you buy original oven cartridge from the manufacturer. But we all know that those can be very expensive. Third party cartridge can be a very cool saving option. And most cases, the chip will say is empty after certain amount of pages printed sometimes still ink remaining on the cartridge. On this video, I'll show you how to make your printer chipless so you can use any third-party cartridge. Also, how to make your printer able to print non-stop without any ink reset level needed. Let's get started. For this process, we're gonna need a software, it is called Inkcheck Fix Reset Firmware. For this, you're gonna need a Windows computer with internet connection, a USB cable, and the drivers of the printer should be installed. Using the USB cable, you will connect your printer to the computer. You will go to inkcheck.net website and then you will click on the laser tab. Choose the language to download the software, then just launch it and make sure the printer is on. Now, the software is going to identify your firmware version and it's going to generate an appropriate one for you depending on your printer model. Click next. When you click buy, it will take you to the checkout webpage. Now here you can enter all your information and remember all this is for you to buy that firmware that was already generated by the software, a firmware that will make your printer chipless. When you see this message, it means that you have submitted your order. In about 15 minutes, you will receive an email. In that email, you should get a zip file. Just download that file. Okay, to install that new firmware on your printer, you need to install recovery mode. For that, you need to turn off your printer and wait at least one minute. Now, turn on the printer, but at the same time, hold down the clear or button or the yellow one you will wait about two seconds and then again press down the clear all button or the yellow one you will know that you're in the right place when you see the wait image message on the printer now you're going to unpack the zip file you're gonna need the firmware file the name will start with fix then you will take the file and using your mouse you will drag it into the installer your chipless firmware installation will now start once it's finished your printer will be rebooted and the power light will go on and that's it, your printer is now shipless. You will now open the printer and take out the cartridge. You will now take something like a tape and you will cover the contacts from the cartridge. Now you can insert your cartridge back. Have in mind that this firmware is only for one printer and you should not update your printer or you will lose all the progress that you have done and you will have to start doing everything again. I really hope this video have given you an idea on how to make your Zero War Center chipless. I will see you in the next one.